What's going on guys and welcome back to another Forzathon Weekly Challenge. Now if you're new to this series, I'll be showing you a basic run through of challenges that make you Forzathon points. You can also double your rewards if you own this house location on the map, which is located near the Teotihuacan Ruins. Now before we get into those challenges, let's look at the seasonal items and the Forzathon shop for this week. For our first challenge, I own and drive a 1977 Pontiac Firebird Trans Am. You can usually find this inside the auto show or the auction house, but either way I should mention that I use this vehicle through all four challenges. After you select your vehicles, then you connect to the garage. Now it doesn't trigger right away, then go drive around the block for a few seconds. In the second challenge, you earn one star at the Boardwalk Danger Sign. Overall, I would upgrade your vehicle to help you for most of these challenges. As for the danger sign, you can locate that on the bottom right of the map. You will have some uneven road to deal with, but you only need to attain one star. I would personally start on the left side of the map because you'll get the most air distance. Now third challenge, you need to beat a rival ghost. As for upgrading, that will come down to what car class you want your vehicle to be in. As for me, I'm going to be choosing B class because I still have some racetracks I have never completed. Now the way to complete this, you'll need to enter Rivals mode found inside the Pause menu under the Online tab. Here you'll be able to play all the original tracks that are across the game. As for me, I'm going to be choosing the Lookout circuit found under Road Racing because not only is it an easy track to finish, but my rival is showing a dirty lap. If you can find one of these icons, then verse that person. If you're able to complete a clean lap, no matter how slow you're going, then you'll be able to beat your rival's time. Then for a final challenge, you earn 3 stars on any drift zone. Here you can choose any drift location found across the game, but up on the screen is two of the easiest spots in my opinion found on the original map. Well, that pretty much wraps up everything that you need to know in this week in Horizon 5. From here, I hope you found this pretty useful, and I'll see you next time.